So for question 15, we are asked to find the function that fits this graph. And so we're going to work through that. Uh, first decision we have to make is do we do y equals a sine of bx or y equals a cosine of bx? So I'm going to move over, I made a copy of it here uh, to kind of hopefully help explain it a little bit better. And uh, let's go with a slightly different color there. Now, now what I'm going to focus on is the y-axis. Where does it start? It starts at 5. Uh, starts sort of big and then goes down small. So looking at our unit circle, which function starts big and goes small? Well, that's cosine. The x-coordinate starts at 1 and gets smaller, whereas the y-coordinate, uh, sorry, yeah, the y-coordinate, sine, starts at 0 and gets bigger. So I'm going to start with the cosine function. I'm going to use the cosine function for this one because it's starting up here. Had it started at 0 and went up, I would have gone with the sine. So I'm going to say I need something like this. Now remember, all we need is the a and the b. So a is going to have to deal with the amplitude. So how high is it? So from the x-axis, it goes up to 5, and it goes down to 5, to negative 5, right? So this is a distance of a 5 here. It's, so it's kind of the distance of the wave, right? 5. That's our amplitude. Um, and it's up here, so we, we, it's, it's going to be positive. So, so far, I've got y equals 5 cosine of bx. The next thing I need to do is see well, what is b, what is the period. So I go from here in one wave, I go down to the bottom, go through there, back to the top. So the period, the distance from uh, one point to the next, and again, you could take either one, you could, you could go from the bottom to the bottom, the top to the top. Uh, it's one full cycle. Let's see, did I get that right? Down. So I return to where I started, the same place, is pi over 8. Uh, so that's not the B yet, that's the period. Equals 8 pi, did I, I, I think I said it backwards, 8 pi over 3. So that's the period, and remember, that's equal to 2 pi over B. So what we have to do is give ourselves some room. 8 pi over 3 equals 2 pi over B, and then now we just need to solve for B. The way I like to do that, I've got two fractions equal to each other, let's cross multiply. So I get 8 pi B equals 3 times 2 is 6 pi. B, so then we divide by 8 pi on both sides. B has got to be, uh, pi's cancel, 6 over 8. That reduces, 2 goes into both of them, 2 goes into 6, 3 times, 2 goes into 8, 4 times, b is 3 fourths. So I'm just going to put 3 fourths here. So y equals 5 cosine 3 fourths x. Um, and I have to write out the whole thing. I have to write the equation 5 cosine. Um, I'm going to put this force go over x make sure you get everything in there let's put that uh, I, I think a function always should have a parentheses around it uh, let's see if there's anything else I guess we could use this stuff here as well I think we're fine but let me just be sure okay I didn't see all the tools they give us so they give us this we were probably just fine, but uh, in there I want to, oh, it just gives us the cosine. It makes it look like it's going to give you the box in front too, but I guess we just put the number and uh, 3 fourths, 3 divided by 4, x. I don't like leaving it without the parentheses, it just uh, bothers me. I mean, it might you know, because it's that cosine 3 fourths then times x, but now it's clear this is how it should be. Okay, so that's number uh, 15 uh, coming up with an equation from a graph.